Hi, Jeff Ballard here. I wanted today to try and uh, run through a couple of the really basic uh, but very, very important setups on uh, suspension and sag of a bike. Um, hanging around the pros and having a race team for many years, we got to know the importance of it and learn a lot from it and then I learned a lot too from other top riders who came in through the team. But uh, today you can see if you go to an off-road or whatever that the guys spend so much importance on the sag of the the bike on the rear and they check it constantly so it is a really really important thing to make the bike uh, balanced and set up well and and you can cheat things a bit to make a bike steer better or if it steers too tight and you and you're wanting the bike to sit a little lower you can fudge things a little bit but it's really important to get a certain amount of spring pressure on the spring which helps push the swing arm back down and give you traction. So you can't just back the spring off, it doesn't really work that way. You know, the only way to really do it properly is to get the bike set up for you. And most of them come pretty well set up for, for an average weight rider. So if you're out of that realm and you're a really light guy or a real heavy guy, then you know, you're gonna benefit a lot by changing the springs. So this is a, this is a new 19 model WR450 and and most of the time I don't need to change a spring, but I've checked the, the different settings of this bike and for me, the spring is a little bit uh, heavy. I don't generally wear a bum bag or, uh, or uh, any carrying water or anything. So most of the time uh, I'm just the way I am now without, with uh, obviously a helmet and everything. So it's good to check your sag when you're the way that you would be riding. Um, so in a general sense, it's about a third of the travel of the, the bike, so a TTR or something, a bit more trail bike if you divide it into three, that's about how much it should, should sag with you sitting on the bike. So there's a formula worked out and, and basically if you sit on the bike and get it so that it goes down to 100 millimetres, if it's only going down let's say 90, uh, generally you're going 90 to 100 but if you need to back the spring off to get it lower, it's a castellated nut at the top and you just release that and hammer it around or sometimes you can push it around. But you need to get the base setting first. Once you do that, then you see what the bike sags uh, at once you've done that. And, you know, in a general sense, that's usually between 30 and 40. And uh, most of the time I'm around about 35. It depends again on the steering of the bike and some of those things. But in this instance, for this bike, I'm running about 35 or 36. So a lot of guys I've noticed over the years, they, they say, hey, you know, I, I don't ride too fast and I, I don't like it harsh, so I just back the spring off. But and what happens in reality is the bike sits lower and there's a linkage with most of these bikes. And so when you, it's designed so that when you're at the, the top end of the extended part of the travel, then you're in a really light part of that linkage and that's what makes it work better in small bumps. And then as you go down, it, it stiffens the rate through the linkage so if you back it off the bike sits too low you're actually in a really bad area and the bike will be harder not softer so really important to get it right uh, once you've got the spring right then you don't need to go through all of the different formulas again in my opinion you just go to you just keep checking the bike for you know this the bike sag so Pretty important stuff. Um, it'll make riding so much more fun if you get that right, and you know you, your confidence will go up because you can you can tune it so that the bike, as I said, steers better or whatever, and you'll feel more comfortable on it. Uh, with the fork, um, most of the time, if you're average sort of weight, then because you're basically sitting over the rear of the bike more, you know the fork spring is often quite good, and you don't need to change it. Anything out of that uh, weight limit, you know, you probably will, but. Um, the fork height is another thing that's quite critical and uh, this bike steers incredibly fast. In some ways I found it a bit too quick so I've extended the drop the fork through from standard probably five or ten millimeters uh, and, uh, and it's really made a difference and I really like it so if you're out in the desert or something like that obviously they drop the fork through and extend it more of a chopper effect and it, the bike tends to want to go straighter. Um, so. You know, it's just, a, it's just a quick basic setup on it. There's more on the internet and if you wanted to go into more detail, but there's so much information that's in your manual. So um, if you're having trouble with a setup, or even if you're not, just want to get some confidence, go back to your manual, have a look. There's really good information in all of the manuals now. And uh, just sort of get a base position. You'll see here, I've written down uh, some of the standard clickers on here and on the fork too. 
and because uh, sometimes you can get lost you experiment a bit and you probably shouldn't vary too much from standard because there's so much work gone into that and there's a lot of really good riders and experienced people setting these things so it's good to not get lost so the best way to not get lost is to always just leave your starting position somewhere that's easy reference in the manual or whatever but I just put it on the bike when I get a bike and then I know from there but the basic setup is very very important from there there's different things that can make a difference and there's plenty of things to keep you busy in in final setup but the the most important is getting the suspension and uh, dialed in for, for what you ride and uh, your weight so have a look into it, it'll probably make your riding days a lot more fun and uh, hopefully you'll have some enjoyment out there on the trails.